Hey, welcome to Quick Bites, where we bring you tech, science, and entertainment news quick, fast, and swiftly. My name's Adam. Let's dive in. So a city in China, Chengdu, is planning on launching an artificial moon in 2020. That's right, an artificial moon, just for the sole purpose of illuminating the streets after dark. This imitation celestial body would pretty much be an illuminated satellite with reflective coating to cast sunlight back to Earth throughout the night. Scientists estimate it could be up to eight times more luminous than the real moon, and will actually orbit much closer to Earth, around 310 miles, compared to the real moon, which is 236,000 miles away. Also, the artificial moon is estimated to save the city of Chengdu around 1.2 billion yuan, or $173 million in electricity costs annually, and help during natural disasters and blackouts. But what about the light pollution? Chengdu's residents and any urban wildlife might not appreciate the unwanted light. As of now, China has been testing in uninhabited desert areas to not interfere with people and to see what effect it has on the environment. Artificial moons aren't a new concept. Back in 1993, Russia tested out a space mirror to reflect sunlight, but the project disintegrated literally when the mirrors failed to unfold and it was incinerated in the atmosphere. And in the 1920s, a German scientist pitched the idea for a space station that would have a 100 meter wide concave mirror used as an orbital weapon to concentrate heat towards Earth known as the sun gun. What are your thoughts on this artificial moon number two? Tell us in the comments below.